We're on to Cameron Baumgartner now. This the last runner in the strongest uh, ninja bracket. Most of the others that you have just seen were in the world championship bracket. So Jake Murray eligible for the world championship. He is in first place, trying to get revenge from last year where he failed the swivel steps. Now Cameron Baumgartner trying to state his case for strongest ninja. Let's see what he's got. Cam coming out of um, Ultimate Ninja's gyms up there. I got yep. to compete against him in Cincinnati last year. Um, and so strong. The balance was actually the thing that got him in the city finals and allowed me to move on. But, um, <laughs> but that's actually, not to say. actually beat the whole course, got disqualified exactly. on t uh, touching the rope of the spin bridge. Yeah, so it's not that he doesn't have the strength. It literally was just an unfortunate way he touched that. Um, there you go. Now, he's how, really how's he going to dismount? here a little bit. He's got to keep that grab. A little bit of a grimace on his face. And now he's there. And he's through. 20 seconds. Don't know what the problem was Mike, there. Mike Torres of Ultimate Ninja Chicago chalking but up. But it's in the pass now. It's behind him, and he's on to the cliffhanger. The Carolina cliffhanger. He's got a guy counting him down as well. I'm not sure who that is. Although wearing a Semse Sem Gray shirt, I respect. Wow, look at this big move here. Big move. Uh, oh, he's got to get a little bit of power over there. We go. That's a he's long range really there. He's not even really driving his knees. See, as a big man, I got to throw my knees super hard to make these little pops that they're doing. But honestly, I think everyone should use their knees. He was just kind of muscling it. Yeah, I mean, he static to the big gap. That's. That's Notice. a power move for sure. Notice now he's trying it. to get it in position here. He wants that in that center part of that wheel. Oh. But it's actually been settling to that side a little bit right there. It's kind of north the middle now. He's got it kind of where he wants Bang it to be. Bang up a swing. Yeah. But how you backswing here really matters. If he backswings too far to his left, it'll go around in a circle. Uh-oh. You know, here oh, we he's go. He's got to go right go here. Nice. He makes the landing. He makes it. But he is exhausted. And he's only going to have 15 seconds to get back on Kane Track. Kane Track was the last or the furthest obstacle attempt in Man, last year's world. No athlete was able Look to at beat his it. Veins. From here, it is just so much pump going. I can see it in his bicep. Here we go. Nice. Got the first one. Got the second one. Keep up the good work. Oh my! Makes the gap. Wow, he was really extended. Here we go. That last one. Got to get Cam. Got to get low to move. He wants to reach. Or he's just out. gonna jump it. I guess kind of no choice. There he's got it. Wow. He's so wow. close to the edge. Come on. Now Cam is a little bit shorter. I don't wonder if he can reach over there. He's about two feet from the landing platform. There it is. That toe is it's so reach. close. He's reach. physically just touched it. He's there. got it. Outstanding. Wow. And the crowd exploding, but he only has 15 seconds to attempt the edge of dreams. Now, again, as soon as he touched that landing platform, his rest time started. This is this is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. Cam what you guys Cameron are doing needs a nap. Really Get my man some water. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, Cameron Baumgartner looked absolutely spent at the end of that course. But this crowd exploding, seeing him be the second person to defeat Kane he Track. He made it that Still, far on nobody. such a difficult course, just powering his way through. That was unbelievable. He Forget second gear. He was into a third or fourth.